I know little of this camera's inclination to continue recording me today, so we'll see. And if it doesn't, I suppose it'll only be I who need suffer uh, the burden of having put any faith in it at all. But I, I will say this, that most of the films I make on this eventually just go, and I think, well, maybe I could just let that one go. Not trash, just somewhere not quite one place or another. In a sense, my dad, whom I have to love on some level, had to be a psychopath, precisely because he knows everything I know about the world. I think all psychopaths do. Everybody does. Everybody knows anything I could talk about. On a certain level, if you use the word knowing to mean that which people, if there is no longer any advantage in hiding the fact, are happy to admit about how lose-lose the world can be seen to be. It can be very easily be made to look that way. It doesn't mean that it is, but it doesn't have the kind of support we'd like. And based on what could be a lose-lose principle, people build their lives, knowing full well anything that you or I could say to complain about it. Many a parent has said to their child, you know, effectively, I know the world is as bad. Go to it. Yeah. So what? You learn to live with it. And uh, my dad did learn to live with it as a psychopath, and quite justified in many respects as to being one, responding as he did, making perhaps poor decisions on how to take care of his children, and suffering or not the results of being effectively amoral, and probably taught exactly that, that that is the way to be. I don't know what it's like to live in another man's shoes. I could easily think that things might have been quite difficult for my father at a young age. I think he was sexually abused by clergy, for starters. And when I started knowing him, he had just lost his mother, and uh, his father had already gone some years to alcoholism, and incredible shame. The family didn't even come to his funeral. One of the things my dad ever told me about my grandfather was that he came to the hospital to give him some new pajamas for him to die in. And that was pretty much as much as my dad said about his father.